Today's webcast topic will discuss communication and employment and learn effective tools about modern communication that will aid you in your employment prospects. In today's world, we've become much more interconnected thanks to our modern technologies. Communicating on a daily basis is a naturally occurring event among human beings. Whatever method or channel is used, communication has several purposes. Inform, meaning providing new information and changes. To notify, notifying of upcoming news, products, and contracts. Educate. Educate about specific topics. Share. Sharing news, information, resources, and photos. Reports. Reporting on progress. Reporting on a situation. Inspire meaning to inspire through action, such as the Libya protests. So communication. As you've learned from previous webcasts on emails and social media, modern technologies have now allowed us to communicate instantly by creating, composing, copying and pasting, and then to send it off instantly with just a click. Your message to a friend, family member, a colleague, or a group of people will be reached and accessed instantly in nanoseconds. Today's world is filled with rapid and instant communication at all hours of the day, 24-7. There are currently many avenues and channels to communicate your message and information. Information can be sent to, in the form of e-blogging, There are tons of blogs through sites on health, finance, family matters, political issues, and many more topics. They are easily available on the internet. Email. What is so nice about email is that it makes the world much more level for people with a hearing loss. There are no need for interpreters or facilitators. Sending a report to your coworkers and bosses is quick and efficient. Facebook. Staying connected with family and friends with pictures, updates on your life, such as wedding events, parties, graduation, or other special occasions. LinkedIn, this is a great tool to network other professionals in your field with current job position and work experience. This is a great tool to market and promote yourself. MySpace, this is another social network that is similar to Facebook. MySpace was the first on the scene until Facebook emerged later on. MySpace is on the decline. Twitter is a short messaging service ideal for brief updates about your company, your life, your career, and comments about current events throughout the world. YouTube is a web-based video program 
where people can post videos for a variety of reasons. These may be to make announcements, updates on certain situations or events, making a short video of music, and the list is much greater. Imagine there are millions and billions of information that are sprinting around the world through our computers, laptops, pagers, cameras, and other devices every moment of the day. To give you a sense of the scope of these communications <clears throat> that are happening around the world, here are some fun facts to review. Wow. Wow, this list is quite extensive. The benefits of using those different channels to communicate news information and messages are vast. One would be making connections with people through work, through home, school, or your community. Offering your expertise and knowledge in specific areas. You can exchange experiences together on how to find solutions. Announce and acknowledge accomplishments or goals. Collaborate on projects. You know, some companies are international and have different staff members all over the world. Partnerships with other colleagues can certainly strengthen and improve your company's growth or achieve some goals, such as training for the Olympics. There are many benefits to instant communication. In today's world, there are also dangers. Many of you recall situations that you've seen where people or maybe even one of, your, one of you have said or done things that you regretted and wished you could take them back. Humans are driven by emotions and thoughts. The danger of using these current technologies is that they can lead people to do one of the following. Let me explain further. Make negative comments and about a person. A situation. An idea or information. For example, one teacher was fired for writing in her Facebook account now I remember why I stopped teaching kids. They are germ bags. <clears throat> I'm not looking forward to teaching another year at school. And that teacher was fired. Sending messages that are inappropriate. Maybe forwarding emails about a person's body parts, a person's appearance, jokes on race or personal beliefs. Messages in bad taste. For an example, an assistant attorney general in the state of Indiana was immediately dismissed for sending the following tweet through Twitter about the Wisconsin Union dispute that has been taking place. Her comment was, 
use live ammunition against those protesters. Whew, that is bad. Use of profanity. A man worked for California Kitchen had tweeted through Twitter, Black button ups are the lamest swear word ever. So they used that swear word and they were immediately terminated. Personal attacks are those that get people in trouble the most. Emotions can run on high, run high on certain issues. One example, a firefighter in Massachusetts was fired for posting on Facebook critical comments about his supervisors and town officials. Poor judgment happens frequently in the workplace. For example, 28 police officers in Nebraska were just fired for watching videos and TV shows online while working. Questionable conduct? Your actions at work do have impact on how people view you. For example, five nurses from California were dismissed from their job because they discussed patients through their own Facebook pages. They clearly broke confidential medical information that they were supposed to keep at work. In the workplace, employers who hire you have the expectation that you will network with clients and prospects through different channels to bring business back to the company. However, more and more companies are now monitoring your emails, internet usage at work to ensure that time and resources are being used appropriately. Many of them have written policies on the use of computers, pagers, and other equipment. Those policies may include some restrictions and even outright ban on certain items such as looking at pornography through your workstation. The use of computers at the office is really the property of the company and they have the legal right to monitor emails that come through and which websites you visit while surfing the internet. When it comes to written policies about using these communication tools and channels, the employment laws generally favor the employer if there is a lawsuit against the company regarding termination or dismissal. Please be mindful at all times of your professional conduct at the workplace. Now you have learned the benefits and dangers of modern communication and how it impacts you in the workplace or in your future. The power of word is very strong. It has an impact. Use your words wisely. Think first. Check your emotions and opinions to ensure that you are calm. After you have written an email, report, video, tweet, or updated on your Facebook, you may want to review the content, the message, and think about who your audience is. This will help you stay centered before sending out the message, information, announcement, or update. You might want to use the 24-hour rule. The 24-hour rule allows you to put aside the email, 
video, or page to give you time to think and check that you are not acting out of strong emotion or expressing an opinion that you might later regret. Most importantly, be responsible for what you say and do when using these forms of communication. What you say may have long-term consequences as more and more employers are checking out Facebook pages, blogs, vlogs, and more. They are screening you. What you say or post, certain photos on Facebook or else, elsewhere, might not get you the job interview. And you blow your chances very quickly. Regardless, if you are a student in high school, in college, or a training program looking for a job, or maybe currently you have a job, use caution when using Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, email, or any other channel to communicate your message out to the other people. 